given that she herself went through terrible heartache, why do you think she wasn't more empathetic with Princess Di? I think she was pretty empathetic at the beginning, but then there's a whole scene. I don't know what they cut and what they... I think there's a, there's a scene that she sticks up for Diana before they marry. So I think there is part of her that she champions Diana and Charles's position amongst the rest of the family um, because she remembers her own experience of, of the family interfering with her romance, you know, and her, her heart. That's the, you know, um, and in fact, it came up because originally I was in a scene plotting, you know, and helping to work out how to get Charles to marry her. And I said very early on, I'm not going to have anything to do with that, given my history, you know. And um, I'm sure Margaret towed the family line in real life, but as a drama, I said, this is not going to sit well with her, the interference. Okay. And also recognition that Diana was vulnerable, you know, just as she was. One of the things I loved uh, about this season were the incredible costumes you got to wear. And you look just stunning in them. How fun was it for you to wear, uh, wear those clothes? And are they part of your natural instinct to go towards clothing like that? Um, no, no, definitely Margaret's style is very different from mine. She's much more immaculate. Um, and there's so many rules, you know, if you're royal, what you have to wear, the length and the kind and the no bare skin. And so if anything, the ones that I really enjoyed wearing were when she was in her private, uh, when she was wearing her sort of in private, she would wear caftans, which were not constricted and free flowing and, and the colours and much more. She's quite colourful as a, you know, royals aren't meant to be that colourful um and wearing prints but in private she could do whatever she liked so um but I had a lot of costumes I don't think I think the crown was definitely remarkable as a drama because there were so many changes and in normal dramas you tend to have a wardrobe from which you choose your clothes but the crown was different and at first I resented it because I just thought even the real Margaret would have had fewer clothes and she did she had a budget you know but then I realized that in fact she still viewed her clothes as a uniform, they were working clothes, you know. Um, but she had an eye. The Queen, I don't think, really cared, and definitely our one didn't care so much about, you know, had an aesthetic thing. But Margaret had an aesthetic, had an eye, and, um, and was, um, and loved clothes. And you look spectacular in them. The other thing that I think, um, Last time we spoke, you mentioned that she was not a people pleaser. And I think that if you have power, you don't need to be a people pleaser. Um, you are a huge star. Uh, I was wondering how good are you at owning your own voice so that everybody asking things from you, you don't give yourself away, but also, um, giving people some of what they need. It's a very delicate balance. So how much of a people please yeah, are you? Oh, I'm terrible at wanting to people please. I do. My natural instinct is to try and keep, to keep everyone happy. Um, and you do learn over the time that you have to, at a certain point, put boundaries up um, and not feel bad if you can't oblige every single person all the time. Um, and... So it is, but you're right, it's a tricky one. And sometimes, you know, I feel bad if I can't stop or somebody says, can I have a photo? And I can like, actually, you know what? Margaret's helped me because she is definitely someone, her, her boundary and her just saying no has rubbed off a bit on me. And now I say very politely, no, I can't, I'm afraid. I'm just having, I'm a nice time. <laughs> or I'm with so-and-so, you know, I'm with somebody, I can't. And you can say it politely. And I think, frankly, that's your prerogative. If, as long as you're polite to someone. I don't think a lot of people appreciate this sort of, they sometimes don't think. And I remember someone just like yesterday was just a bit of a, just gave me a mood as if it was like um, ungenerous of me not to spontaneously give her a photo. But, you know, I was just coming out of the back doctor and I just had my neck down and I was in a daze. And that was the last thing I wanted to do was have a photo. And then these days also it is in a position because it, might not just be private, it might just go everywhere. And you go, like, 
you've got to ring fence your privacy to a certain degree where you can and there's very it's not really in your control anyway well you're always wonderful and screen and in person uh, what oh, a great you, performance thank you very thank much you. for your time thank, thank you. you so much thank you margaret bye, bye.